Here's my picture taken lady. Taking <laughs> pictures again. How are you doing, Emily? <laughs> Oh, this this is not rawhide. Oh, okay. this is this is a brand this is a brand new tanned hide. Okay. And I was going to try to stretch it outside today, but it's too damp. No, this is not this this is not rawhide. This is this is actually soap tanned hide. Okay. Um, the idea was, and, the, and the, the guy that put this together was a venture crew leader, a Boy Scout leader. This has nothing in it you can't eat. Okay. As opposed to uh, chrome tanning, uh, acid tanning, uh, you know, a lot of other things. This is, uh, is dehaired with um, uh, washing soda. Okay, instead of lye. Okay, and it was tanned in ivory soap. Carbonate. Yeah, and now it's sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. One no, no, this is this is and the other is washing soda. Yeah, this is yeah. This is this is the one that's got the borax in it. Yeah. Okay, and so so this this was designed to be safe for boys to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's enough. The, so you don't have the heavy chemicals and because you see, now move this so like you can see it in the camera. And you might have to focus in. If you look at the edge of that hide right there, if you can focus in on that. Can you see that little blue line down the center of it? I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can find a thicker spot in the hide. Yeah, it shows up better here. You see the little blue line? Oh yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay, that means that was chrome tanned. Okay, well we don't want no Boy Scouts, we don't want no Native American peoples, we don't want nobody messing with chrome tanning because that's evil stuff. It's, uh, it's chromium salt, is the salt itself or in solution it's poisonous. Okay, and uh, then you have the question: Where do you get rid of it? You know, do you dump do you dump it in the city sewer system and, and shut down their the city sewer system? They will find you and find you. Do you dump it down? Um, so I'm 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 trying to get back to um, an alternative to brain training, tra brain tanning. Because um, brain tanning generates more smells, okay, and and uh, if you're using deer brains, I have issues with chronic wasting disease. We do not have it in Vermont yet, but the idea of use, using animal brains and and youth, because because this is this is not to teach old people how to do this. This is to teach young people how to do this. The idea of youth and brain painting and, and chronic wasting disease, it just, it's, it's, it is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Now if you ask why the big, why the big hole in the hide, that's what happens when you use a rage broadhead. A Rage Broadhead. It's a brand of broadhead for use using a crossbow, and it it's what they call an expandable. It opens up to two inches. One of the things you will note here is that there is no other holes in the hide except for one, and that comes from the fact <coughs> that you do not once you get the leg cuts made, you do not need to make any other cuts to skin a deer. I got the wander on. All right. Okay. This is a almost like a jacket stitch where you go you come come in from the same side all the time. Hey, young lady. 
I'm winning. These are Glover's needles, by the way. Okay. They're a three-sided needle, and they cut through the leather rather than push. They're available at your local... I think I got these at Joann's. And this is dental floss, by the way. It would be more authentic with sinew, artificial sinew, and I have some, but, but I did not, <coughs> I could not find it. This is sewn. All the stitches come from the inside yeah. out. That way, if there was hair on this hide, it would not pull. It does not pull the hair through quite as much. And every ten or twelve stitches, you you stop and throw a half hitch, and it just uh, just uh, Yourself to our viewers? Hi, I'm John Record, uh, a friend of Miss Neal. Uh, in my, I've been a scoutmaster for 27 years. I live in Rutland. I must say, offer the disclaimer that I carry no Native American heritage. Uh, my younger brother, who's done gene, does genealogy. Uh, has done the genetic testing, and with forebearers like Johnson, Christensen, and Peterson, you might guess that I am Scandinavian. <laughs> but I have a great interest in, in these, these native crafts, um, these native skills. Um, I identify with the with the ability to, to live off live off and in conjunction with the land. Uh, and I'm the first to, one to tell you that this is a grand experiment. <laughs> uh, I'm a, my grandparents on three sides all came out of Scandinavia. Okay. Um, my parents were all first generation. Except the record family and they were horse thieves or something out of England. We can trace them back to the Revolutionary War. And uh, you know, because I can't. So I've gone to the photography and stuff like this. <laughs>